says, would you by any chance be privy, I like that word, privy, to why Nathan named his company Noodlers? Yeah, why the heck is an ink company named after Noodlers and why is the logo a catfish? Well, those two terms are related. For those of you that don't know, noodling is a, um, I guess you could call it a sport. It's not really an official sport, but it's more of a tradition sort of that's passed down mainly in kind of some of the southern states in the US. Um, essentially what it is is fishing with your bare hands. So you're not using any bait or lures or anything like that. Um, generally the term is used for catfish, especially flathead catfish. Um, but the, um, the, and I've never done this, I've done a little research on it and seen it on Dirty Jobs and some other TV shows and stuff like that. Um, but basically the concept is uh, catfish, they bury like themselves into holes in, you know, ponds and stuff like that. And uh, the, the sport of noodling is you swim down anywhere between a couple of feet up to like maybe even 20 feet underwater and you find a catfish hole, you stick your hand into the catfish hole. And the defense mechanism that the catfish have is to bite so that they can either get out or scare away whatever's coming. So you stick your hand in there, they bite your hand, and then you pull it out. And these catfish are not like little fish. These are generally like about 40 pounds. So you're pulling this 40 pound fish up out of its home basically and kind of wrangling it up to the surface. And that essentially is noodling. It's kind of a dangerous sport. It's actually been outlawed in several states because of, uh, I guess, safety concerns and overfishing and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's got its traditions and uh, Noodlers has it on their site and says, I quote, the ink with the catfish on the label symbolizes a Southern sport that attempts to equalize the struggle between man and animal in the quest for a sense of fair play and thus a fair price. So it kind of ties in as far as Nathan Tardif and um, who, uh, as far as I understand, is a noodler himself. He has done this, uh, and which is not wildly shocking, but um, you know, it's uh, it's it's in his kind of explanation, it's uh, it's kind of leveling the playing field, which. For him, if you look at noodlers and the price of their ink and all the things that he looks to do, uh, it kind of makes sense. So he is viewing it as, you know, that kind of fair equity kind of thing, which kind of ties into his idea of economics and other things that you can see as kind of themes, a lot of his political kind of uh, undertones that he has, sometimes not even undertones, overtones often for, uh, <laughs> for some of his uh, ink designs and, and labels and such. So that really is kind of where it comes from. 